Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, another cold, cold day here in New York City, freezing cold, and uh, anyway, I'm always looking in the garbage. Why am I always looking in the garbage? Because I don't have anything. I don't have any money. I don't have any income. So I can't really buy much. Occasionally I can buy something. But most of what I have comes out of the garbage. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go through the list. You know, like half of my clothes. Uh, maybe half of the, the stereo, the speakers, the half the computer stuff. You know, garbage, all garbage. Stuff other people threw away. Which is why I get so frustrated and upset when I see electronics smashed. Because I could have used them. Anyway, enough about consumer electronic products. Um, I got a bunch of videos here that I haven't been able to upload. And I lose... Uh, some stuff that way because the days go on and I look back and I'm like this isn't relevant who cares about what I have to say I go through that sometimes and uh, actually the one thing that keeps going through my mind this morning is you know I, I wake up sometimes I wake up angry angry at, at all the what's been done to us and you know the thing about trauma is that you have to deal with it you know you have to accept it you have to talk about it with other people you have to admit that you know whatever it was that you you were afraid that you, you know, peed your own pants, that you, you, you couldn't save your best friend, or whatever it is, you know? Trauma is a serious imprinter on our minds and on our attitudes and behaviors afterwards. And continued trauma can change you into a into a really angry, bitter person if you're not careful. Now, the thing that I've noticed excuse me, about this search for information that every targeted individual goes on, we all do the same thing. Something strange is happening to us, out of the ordinary, and we're looking for information, trying to figure out what is it, what's going on. And many of us end up watching Prison Planet, Info Wars, you know, a bunch of other stuff that's probably not the best thing. And uh, tell them uh, they weren't done with me. But tell them uh, I, you know, you, my you I left. important, yeah. All right. Do we buy any food? Regarding or my domicile, no, it didn't. Want money? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I gotta the, run. Uh, they, they were, I, I'll tell you later what happened. Okay. I told him I was exposed to some heavy duty toxins. You told uh, the doctors that? Good. Yes, I did. Okay, take this I'll see you shortly. Food. So, uh, as you can see, that was Petra. Petra is a lot, I, I don't know how to say this without disparaging my wife. Petra has a different attitude about this. She still is in the place where everybody that we met was part of this thing, that people were sent into our lives to, to you know, interfere with us and to, to report on us. And, to, and because the tentacles of this mind control thing is so 
you know, whatever it is, if it's a technology, if it's satanic, if it's a combination, whatever, the tentacles of this thing reach, as far as I can tell, to almost anyone. Uh, there are, uh, for one person, always these signs, renting a room for one person. Okay, sorry to digress. Uh, you know, she still is in the place where everybody is part of the conspiracy. And I, I just am not gonna go there anymore. Uh, I know that there are, are two divisions in my life. One of them is the quote unquote real world, or rather the old world. Reality, I call it, but it's the consensual, you know, of everybody else. The stuff that happens to you, that everyone can explain away and, you know, seems normal and whatever. And the people who don't understand anything about this, the ones that when you talk to them, they get angry and afraid. And... So she's still acting from a place where everybody's involved and everybody knows everything. And I'm acting from a place where not everybody's involved. There's two separations. There's the mind control people who fuck with us and monitor everything we see and say and do and go into the minds of others around us and make them hate us and however this thing works. And, you know, she thinks that the, the voice to skull, the group of people in her head that are, are you know, constantly bombarding her with criticism and comments and uh, because they hear everything she's thinking that everybody else does too. And I, I, you know, I could be misunderstanding her explanation because she's very together and very level-headed, but these people have a way of getting into your psyche and causing you to question yourself and others and you know I have seen examples of them using people's voices of the people that you love you know on the phone on the you know you're talking to this person you think it's your you know whoever and it's not or something you know and then there's the fact that we're going through this traumatic thing and we're so traumatized and hypervigilant and, and all the other things that come from that, that people around us can feel that and they react to our suspicion and fear and, and, and hypervigilance and this thing can perpetuate itself like a snowball. Um, I'm telling you, it is either a drug a radio frequency effect or a biological, uh, you know, result of an organism's parasitic influence in your body, either what it's putting out or doing, whatever, that we experience the world as though we're on LSD or something of that nature. Uh, I don't know if they're doing this to everybody, but I'm telling you straight from my heart. They were drugging me for years before I even knew. They were zapping me for years before I even knew. They had given me more gallons and I had this thing living in me for years before I even knew. Though, you know, it wasn't until the doses got so high that they, you know, they were trying to fry our brains that we noticed that we were being covertly drugged. Or the result was the same, however it was happening. A lot of people don't realize this, that they're being drugged, or the effect is the same. You know, the world starts getting very strange, and you start getting, you know, reactions, neuroses, and, uh, anxieties, and angers, whatever it is that your personality type is designed to release from your subconscious. This is another story, it's a big topic, and uh, something else I want to talk to you about. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. I'm sorry we have to go through this. Let's go through it together because it's the only way we're going to survive. The world is not the way we thought it was anymore. This is a new world order and 
<laughs> we got to survive as long as we can, unless we're all willing to do ourselves in, and I don't think that's the solution. So, God bless you. Take care. <laughs>